before I begin the video, I just want to say shout out to Hype Mario Bros because he made me my outro template, so he deserves a shout out. And shout out to Mr. Dime Stealer because he's almost at 1k subscribers, so go, go get him there. So anyway, let's begin the video. James, I uh, just wanted to let you know that I'm launching this card game called Cafe Chaos on Kickstarter today. All right, nice More sponsor. At the end of the video, this isn't some bit. I actually made a card game and I worked really hard on it. So please click the link in the description to get your. My name's Joe Exotic. I exploit dangerous wild animals for profit, and that's only the least reprehensible thing I've done. In this eight so... series, I'll show you the bad, the horrible, and downright disgusting aspects of what it's like to be a polyamorous, meth addicted Tiger King. I'm the real Pokemon master. That's you hear? And just like that, by watching other garbage humans on his television, James felt ever so slightly at peace while the world crumbled around him. For the first time in months, James smiled. I'll be real with you, being in quarantine has sucked a lot. I miss hanging out with friends, I miss going to non-essential businesses, and I miss wiping my butt with toilet paper instead of my dog. All I've had for comfort Whoa, has been what? proof in my own mind. Why have so you wiping your ass with your... What your Never mind. But if staying home instead of going to Disneyland will save people's lives, then I guess I'll have to make that sacrifice. It's so hard to be a good person. Some of the things that have been helping me mentally has been exercise, a positive mindset, and garbage television. I used to think that garbage well, television Well, for me, it's working out and playing video games and just doing YouTube. But as I started watching more garbage, Cause, you know, I realized that I've you want to stay out. Uh, hey, that's the amazing garbage content for years. Have you seen the videos I make? I've said this in my conspiracy video that I love watching crazy people talk for hours. Now take those same people, give them a yeah, sometimes they're a funny budget, and you got a brand new show on TLC. What's that? You've never heard of TLC, the learning channel? Well, TLC is full of wonderful programs. Well, and I don't watch TLC because so I, I, I don't watch the TV. I don't watch TLC, but I watch the other TLC. No, if if you guys are wrestling fans, you, 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 you guys but know what I'm talking about. If you wanted to sponsor me, I'd say no. I just want to be on an episode Mostly of Strange Addiction. Addiction. I'll tell you what the addiction is later, TLC. One show I've been unhealthily binging is called 90 Day Fiance. 
It's about oh, yeah. when a boy meets a girl, or a girl meets a girl, or a man meets a much younger girl online, and they sort of like each other, but they're from different countries, so when they meet each other, they have 90 days to decide if they want to get married before their visa expires. It's yeah, guys, that the internet I, I will watch so this these clearly show. Desperate people in different countries even have the chance to form a relationship. What? And it's equally great that the I heard the show because so of, of Scrubby. Um, of I, I like lives. when reaction really commentary shines. videos react to TLC shows, <laughs> so I, I like how Scrubby reacts to one specific couple. Big Ed and Rhodes. I don't want to make fun of Big Ed's appearance. Yeah, bigger. Let's just say Big Ed is a like a lot of money on scarves. And he's he's thick. He's a he's, he's thick. He's pursuing thick. Pursuing a relationship and wanting to marry a 23-year-old Filipino woman named Rhodes. And Ed has a daughter that's six years older than Rhodes. And he's older than Rhodes's father. Can you imagine for a second what? if your mom was six years younger than you? And on top of that, no. Ed is a huge liar. He lied about his height. He lied about wanting to have kids with her. He's also really mean to Rose. I mean, sure, he's old enough to be her father, so he's probably used to talking down to young people. And a dad telling their kids that their legs are hairy and their breath stinks is justifiable. But this is his girlfriend. At least make her a bag lunch first. Even if I thought Big Ed was the best guy in the world. Well, do why do you use mayonnaise for it? Work between people with a 31 year age gap? Well, let's take a look at the math. Here is the half year age plus seven rule graphed out. So if you're 30, then it's socially acceptable to be dating someone who's 22. Now, obviously this graph isn't set in stone, but for reference, here's Big Ed's age versus Rose's age. So when Ed was 40 and taking care of his 15 year old daughter, Rose was nine. So do I think an age gap of 31 can be automatically in common sense speaking, not until Ed is 76 How is no one called FBI? I think that'll take longer than 90 days though. The second and third reason I love this show is David and Lana. I haven't seen any YouTubers talk about this couple, but they need to. Meet David, a 60 year old guy from Vegas who's fallen head over wallet for a Ukrainian woman named Lana. He spent seven years and a quarter of a million US dollars on a relationship where he hasn't even met the other person. He's tried to meet up with Lana on three separate occasions already, but got stood up every single time. Now he's putting all of his credit cards on the table and is willing to risk it all on a fourth trip to the Ukraine to meet his soon to be mail order Marichella. who doesn't speak English. Long story short, they meet after Top. 14 episodes, David gives her a brand new iPhone X to text him on, only for him to get eternally ghosted because her nails were too long to text him back. Let me remind you that they were in contact for seven years. That's how old Rose was when Ed was 38. Me briefly describing wow. this team's relationship just now was so much of an emotional roller coaster that I don't even need to go back to theme parks anymore. It makes me want to puke, and I hope you can see why I love this show so much. I know that reality TV is fake, and who knows if this entire relationship is Okay, well, some reality show, TV are fake. But I don't care if it's There fake. are actually it's some reality TV... Why oh my god, no, some are actually, fun actually are real. Some seem, fake, it or not. some Even are actually real. a good real. portion of this video hyping up trash TV, you should also be doing something productive. Like, like working out. YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> like watching James <laughs> YouTube videos, that way, that way you can get paid more. Right when the pandemic began its exponential spike, I bought a home gym machine and I've been working out three times a week with my friend DJ. DJ and I met because we're both friends with Alan Becker who makes these animations versus animator videos. Oh yeah! And one day I noticed that DJ's muscles were a lot like one of my Japanese animes. He was a walking, breathing protagonist that my body dysmorphia had been holding me back from becoming. I reached my skinny hands out to DJ and said, Hey, DJ, can we work out together? So this is where I put the iPad to talk to DJ. Oh, hey, James. This is where I got the treadmill, the weights. Oh. This is my favorite piece of equipment. This rag up here so I don't bump my head when I do pull-ups. This is where I keep my air conditioner because it gets very hot in this garage. This is what I used it to It gets very like hot when you start ago. sweating. Anyway, the reason I started working out more seriously was because people were calling me skinny and other slanderous synonyms like slender and scrawny. And I told my friends that I was I hurt mean, by these comments, I mean, but they all unanimously agreed that it, it's true. I am a slim I mean, gym. It's important. Well, I mean, I'm not strong either, so that's why I start. That's why you always work it out. Myself. We've only been going for about three months or a whole 90 day fiance. 
and I've already gone from struggling. Ah, uh, nice joke, nice joke. To struggling to lift up this much weight. Sorry if I'm flexing too much on you. I'm just proud of my progress. The point is, while trash TV is fun, remember to mix in some productive activities during the day. Like For work example, out, exercise. You don't need equipment. Do ten push-ups right now. Lose. Clean up after yourself. Okay. Doing all right. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll do it after the video. Organized and tidy will be a big boost on your mental health. Wear a face mask if you need to go out. Learn how to cook. You also, also wear gloves. Healthy too. Stop eating so many <laughs> bagel bites. Watch. Wait, what? Remind yourself how safe you are inside. These guys could get COVID and a broken tooth. Wear a face mask if you need to go out. Shave your head. Who cares anymore? Watch competitive sports fishing and get your blood well, pressure to rise I'm so much that you get pressured into working out again. And oh my god, how big is that fish? Oh my god, it's a 1,200 pound bull shark! They need seven people to pull it on the boat and oh my god, is that big head? And last but what? not least, check out my newest game on Kickstarter. What is James watching? Year, developing a new game called Cafe Chaos. You start the game by choosing a character with a unique ability, target other players, and throw food combos like moldy double deep fried couch cushion candy or a frozen chocolate pretzel that's pickle <laughs> that's actually an illegal move so don't do that avoid taking splat okay. hits by ducking or using your character's special ability while grabbing more food to throw at opponents there's a whole bunch of characters to choose from yeah you just said we is there a ye weaver the oh we got a lot of animators pack. And you can see all the other packs over on my Kickstarter page. Some of these deals will only be available for the 30-day campaign, so be sure to check them out before they disappear. All right, all right. Okay, James. Hopefully, this game will help you get through quarantine as much as it's helped me. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Well, I mean, I might check it. I might check out the Hello, game out. Hello, everyone. I hope you liked my big exclusive sneak peek into what I've been up to for the past six months. I know things are a bit crazy right now, but I hope you're all keeping busy in your own unique way. Maybe some more mind-numbing than others. But hooray, another video is created, and that means another big hooray for my incredible crew. I can't do these videos without them. As you've probably heard, mm -hmm. I'm right. releasing a card game on Kickstarter today. So yeah, I might sure check out check the game out. card. I might and check out the always, card game. If you ever decide to go to a foreign country to meet someone that you talk to online for four days, wash your hands and wear your seatbelt. Okay. So, so yeah, so that's what you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this video was mostly talking about um TLC shows like 90 Day Fiance, which okay, so I never watched the show, but I see reaction and commentary channels react to it. Mostly scrubby. But yeah. See, that's what you guys enjoyed the video. Well, but it kind of good. Well, I mean, since James asked us to do 90 push-ups, I'm actually going to do it right here. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys something that's strong to do. See, guys, I've been working. Yeah, guys, I've been trying to like, gain muscle because I'm not that strong either. So, yeah, guys, work out. If you're trying to get muscles, do. I'm going to see if I can try to do more than 10 push-ups. But, yeah. See, guys, that's really who guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Fine. Well, but anyway, the comments that says this video. I'll see you guys next later. Bye. Bye. Peace. And now I'm giving you all of me.